everyone, I am coming to you today with my reaction and analysis of the FLL Submerge board reveal. Before we begin with the video, I just want to say that you should probably subscribe because I have a bunch of great coding tutorials for FLL, and the off-season is probably the best time to grow new skills. With that, let's dive in. Uh -huh. So the beginning's pretty boring. It's, it's, I mean, it's pretty standard. I wasn't really expecting much. I will say, the logo for this one is very interesting. Like, because a lot of the times the logos are a lot simpler. Hydrodynamics, it's just the hydrodynamics word in a cool pipey font. Like masterpiece, it was just masterpiece typed in paint. This one's like an actual kind of logo with that submarine on there. So if you watched my last video, I was right. I mean, it, it kind of, it'd be very hard not for me to be right just because it's such a simple, it's, it was so obvious. Yeah, I mean, it's it's very clearly an ocean theme. And right now I'm gonna pause the video because if you can see that chicken in the sub, that's very important. If any of you know anything at all about the FLL chicken, it's quite the thing in the FLL community. He is, he's an icon and he's, he's been in a lot of boards. Like if you, if you don't, if you haven't been doing it for a while, you might not have heard of him. I mean, of course you've seen, him. got one right here. <laughs> so with that, let's keep playing the video. Just, just wanted to bring that up because I mean, he's awesome. And once again, the two home format is returning, but I'm going to back it up a bit just to show you this shot right here. This shot makes me so sad. I mean, it doesn't have any missions on it on purpose. I know that. I was pausing it here because it doesn't have any missions because I want to show you something incredibly disturbing. If you've watched my most watched video, which you most likely have, just because it's my most watched video. You know it's about a two, it's a two sensor line follower for the Spike Prime. Awesome. There's not many lines on this board. Something tells me that video is gonna get a few less views this year. Something I do see happening though is my second or third most viewed video, which is a line squaring program for the Spike Prime. I can see that becoming a lot more important this year because there's a, quite a few places, I'll, I'll point them out in the video, where line scoring is important. And right here, we have our first shot with all of the missions nicely displayed on the board. And what's interesting is there's a lot more large missions. Like with Masterpiece, there were a few large missions, like there's the light tower, of course. But otherwise, they were kind of small and kind of spread out. Like, of course, there was the track with the camera, but that was still, like, it wasn't a very big mission. It was just a long mission. But, like, right here, you can see we've got this, this boat-looking one. We've got the orca. We've got whatever this wheel thing is. This looks like crates or a basket or something. And a bit of the shared mission here, which, very excited for that, because last year's shared mission was kind of... I. I couldn't really tell that it was a shared mission last year, so I got that completely wrong. I thought there wasn't one. Right there, um, I have a video about how to like di like stop on a line, but I think turning on a line is also going to be pretty important this year. And here we have our shared mission. And this one, I think, is very interesting because it can be activated from either side. And so I think it's going to be less like both teams can get points for it because it one side pushes up and then it slides down to this side. It could be that like if you push it and it's on the other team's side, you get so many points. If both sides pushed it, they both get so many points. It's going to be really interesting. I'm not going to make any big bets on this one per se, just because I was so wrong about the shared mission last year. But yeah, there's the sub from the, uh, the kind of the cover shot. It's got the chicken. So the video continues and right here, uh, actually back up a bit we have this whale mission that deposit like when you knock it over it deposits like three small krill or plankton shrimp something like that looking creatures and i'm really interested about what that's going to mean like how do you score those because it could be that you just have to drop them in circles there is that like arrangement of crates i pointed out earlier it could be something to do with those We'll just have to wait and see. I'm not gonna try and make any big bets just because it's kind of random. We have another boat mission right here and it's actually kind of in the same spot as the boat mission was this year, which I think is kind of funny. It's kind of a way to tie in to Masterpiece a bit. 
they could be going with that, I don't know. And right here we've got this coral thing, and actually we've got two of them. And what I'm interested about here is what those, like what purpose those serve, because I don't think it's something you have to deliver, because they have an unstable looking base, like they're, they're tilted slightly if you can see that, and they're within this small circle, the base. Which is kind of accurate if you want to do this with a Spike Prime, or like, it's a toy robot, guys. <laughs> so I think it's probably going to be something to do, to do with something like the chicken, just because coral reefs are something that we don't want boats to hit because it damages it. They take a long time to regrow. So it could be something like free points, but if you touch them, you lose points. If you knock them out of the circle, something like that. Also, here we have another one of those krill plankton-looking things. It's going to be interesting, uh, the coral, just because there's several of them, it could be something to do with the reef. We see this pirate ship mast looking thing, which I'm interested just because we don't really see a pirate ship looking mission anywhere else. We do see a lot of boats because it's, I mean, it's an ocean theme, guys. You're going to get boats. But it could be something to do with shipwreck preservation, which would be very, very cool. No way, there's six penalties. And right here, we see this squid-looking mission. And what I'm interested about with this is, it's kind of like the helicopter, but we've already, from Cargo Connect, but we've already seen the shared mission. And what's something that makes this even more interesting is there isn't really any other one. So it wouldn't make sense to be like the delivery deposit thing that there has been in several missions, like, or years, like the minifigs this year, the Cargo Bricks and Cargo Connect, uh, the energy units and Super Powered. I'm not really sure what this is. Something I could see is like you've got to load it into the mouth of the whale or something like that just because I know whales eat giant squid. Could be. I don't know. It's going to be totally, totally cool. Whatever we see in August. Right here we see a mission that you have to like push around. But what's going to be interesting about this one is do you just have to push it as far as you can? Or should you try and be a bit more strategic and not necessarily push it all the way? Something else I'd like to point out, this is, it has nothing to do with this mission, but what the heck is this Lego piece? I've never seen anything like it, because it's, it's like one of those things that are incredibly common in the Spike Prime kit, but it has, like, it, oh, it's a very cool Lego piece. I'm going to be excited to, like, mess with my FLL team's board just because of this Lego piece I've never seen. And, um, just going to back up a bit, because right Right here, we get a better look at the crates I was talking about, and it looks like they all have crabs. It could be crab traps, not necessarily crates, like I had said. Um, I think it probably has something to do with, because it looks like they can be picked up and moved around. It could have something to do with, like, pick up these crates, move them somewhere else, or just, like, rearrange them. I'm not sure. Um, it does look like something that would be fairly easy for a robot with a forklift to pick up, so that, that could be what that mission is. I'm not sure. So right there we see what looks like the figurehead of a pirate ship. Could be the second half of that preservation mission, I'm, I'm not sure. A shipwreck preservation mission would be very, very cool, just because shipwrecks are cool. And here we get yet another hint, like another, yet another part of the banana boat. It's, it's the banana boat 2.0, guys. What can I say? And so, now, now it's pretty much done with the board at this point. It's We do get another good shot. I was wrong. We're not done with the board. So there's kind of sliding a shark, could be a small whale, I'm not sure, off what looks like the part of a ship or something. So just like freeing animals that were being rehabilitated or something, just being healed after an accident or something. That That's what I'm thinking it is, just because that'd be cool. And there I think we see a third part of the same mission. Yeah, so we see the second part. You just push that up to lift the mast. They're showing a lot of that one mission. So they're, they're getting me really excited for the shipwreck pre preservation mission thing, guys. Okay, so here we see something that is very important to remember. You drop the squid in the oval. So it is kind of like the cargo bricks from, from Super Cargo Connect, the energy cells from Super Powered. So it is something you have to deliver, but it might not necessarily be, you know, like, 
as plentiful as the minifigs and uh, masterpiece. Thank you so much everyone for watching. I'm very excited about this year's theme just because, I mean, I'm so close to hitting a thousand subscribers. I'm going to hit 1,000 subscribers, hopefully before my channel turns two. And there's one way that can happen, and that's if you subscribe right now. I know I'm doing a lot of channel plugs, but these videos, I do an analysis of the game board, they are some of my most successful videos, and I can only do them once a year. So this is a big opportunity for me to grow my channel, so please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And good luck to all your teams in the FLL Submerged season. I'll see you soon.